Hello students, welcome to Eduit. In the last session, we have discussed about atomic size. How this property atomic size changes in the groups and the periods of a modern periodic table that we have discussed in the last session. And now in this session, we'll discuss another property and it is the last property that we are going to discuss throughout this chapter. And that property is metallic and non-metallic properties. These are two properties, but these two properties are opposite to each other. That's why we are going to learn about these two properties together in this session. So let's start with metallic properties. The term metallic property, it means the properties of the metals. Then what is metals? Metals are those substances or you can say that those elements, metals are those elements which has the tendency to lose electrons when they are in bonded form. Okay, and that tendency of losing electron is defined in a term that is electropositivity. So this electropositivity is applicable when the atoms are in bonded form. That means when these are bonded with another atom, then the ability of the atom to lose electron is said as electropositivity. And higher the electropositivity, it means the atom has the higher tendency to lose electrons. So the metallic nature of the atom is more. Okay, now let's see how this metallic nature and the, or the metallic property, how this changes in the modern periodic table. Let's have the periods first. In the periods, on moving from the left hand side direction to the right hand side direction, what happens? You can see in the periodic table, when we move from the left hand side direction to the right hand side direction, the size of the atoms decreases because there is an increase in effective nuclear charge. So the outermost electrons will be more tightly bounded to the nucleus when we are moving from left hand side direction to the right hand side direction. So the ability of an atom to lose electron will getting decrease will decrease throughout the period. That means the electropositive nature it will decrease in a period on moving from left hand side direction to the right hand side direction. So the metallic character, this metallic character also decreases in a period because the electropositive nature decreases. So this is the trend of metallic nature in a period. Now let's see what happens in groups. In groups on moving from top to the bottom, the size of the atom increases. We know this from the last session, the size of the atom increases. Why increases? Because the distance of the outermost electron from the nucleus is increasing. Okay. So the outermost electron have the lesser and lesser effective nuclear charge on moving from top side to the bottom side. That means those electrons can be easily lost. The ability of an atom to lose, lose those electrons will be more and more on moving from top side to the bottom side. So the electropositive nature or the electropositivity of the atoms will increase from top to the bottom in a group. That means the metallic property also increase from top to the bottom of a group so this is the trend of metallic property in a group so that that's all about metallic property but all the elements that are present in the modern periodic table don't have the tendency to lose electrons some of them also want to gain electrons and they also want to have the stable electronic configuration all the atoms or the elements they want to gain or lose electrons just because they want to have the stable electronic configuration that means the electronic configuration of the noble gases but the atoms which don't want to lose electrons they want to gain electrons those the nature of those atoms is or the element is completely opposite than the metals and those atoms or the elements are said as non-metals so non-metals have the tendency to gain electrons and that tendency to gaining of electron is said as electronegativity when the atoms are in bonded form. Both this property, electropositivity and electronegativity, both will be applicable when the atoms are in bonded form. That means with some other atoms. Now let's see how this non-metallic character also changes in the periodic table. It will be completely opposite than the metals because the property is completely opposite. Now let's see what happens in periods. In periods on moving from left hand side direction to the right hand side direction. What happens? The effective nuclear charge increases. So the outermost electron will be pulled more and more strongly by the nucleus. So the atoms of the right hand side direction will have more power to pull the electrons. So to gain electrons in case of the bonded situation also they have the tendency to gain electrons. So the electronegativity of those atoms will increase on moving from left hand side direction to the right hand side direction in a period so electronegative nature is increasing that means the 
non metallic property it is also increasing so in a period on moving from left hand side direction to the right hand side direction the non metallic property increases now let's see what happens in case of groups in case of groups the size of the atom increases from top to the bottom side from top to the bottom the size is increasing and the eclectic nuclear charge of the valence electron it is decreasing so the tendency of the atoms to gain electron will decrease definitely it will decrease because the outermost electron will be pulled lesser and lesser by the nucleus so the tendency of the atom to gain electron will decrease from top side to the bottom side so the electron negativity of the atoms will decrease from top side to the bottom side so the non metallic character what will happen non metallic character means ability of the atom atom to gain electron now in a group the ability of atom to gain electron is decreasing from top to the bottom so the non metallic character also decreases from top to the bottom side of a group so that was all about the nature of this property or how this property of metallic nature and non metallic nature changes throughout a group and the period in a modern periodic table now we know that both metals and non metals they both exist in the modern periodic table but we have only one modern periodic table so what will be the positions of metals and non metals since metals want to lose electrons they have the elements which have higher electropositive nature they are metals and those metals could be found in the left hand side in the periodic side in the in the periodic table in the left hand side the groups which are present they are metallic in nature for example sodium potassium magnesium calcium these are all metals okay and the elements which wants to gain electron they, they want to have the tendency tendency to gain electron they are found in the right hand side so the groups like group 17 group 16 group 15 these are composed of non metals so this is the position of metals and non metals metals are found in the left hand side of the periodic table and not non metals are found in the right hand side of the periodic table now there is a line present which is in zigzag line which is a zigzag line this line separates metals from the non metals so this line the elements which are present throughout this line they have that properties of both metals and non metals they are neither metals nor non metals so these elements are said as metalloids or semi metals so you can see that in this zigzag line the elements are boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium so these are the elements these are called metalloids or semi metals so that's all about this metallic properties and non metallic property along with this we also now know another term that is metalloids so that's all in this session in this session we have discussed about this terms metallic property non metallic property and metalloids in details and in the next session we will give a summary of this whole chapter so that you can understand all the concept of this chapter clearly